Welcome to Salt Fix. So the sun's just coming up over the coast there. I had to start early this morning trying to miss the crayfish crowds. It's a bit of a southerly, southeasterly blowing, so it's not too bad, but I've got to head a fair way south, so I've got to punch into this suddenly the whole way down, so it'll be a bit of a rough ride. But anyway, once I get down there, I'll start filming and hopefully we can get onto some fish. Right -o. so it's been a bit of a rough old, a rough old bounce down the coast. Anyway, I've got down to where I was heading for, just a bit of an exposed reef. Um, same old story as always, I'm just going to whack a little bit of barely in the water, just enough to hopefully get the herring and the um, guardies and whatever else fired up. And then hopefully the kings will come in for a look once I get a bit of a um, food chain going. I know I'll give it a couple of hours and see what happens. Same as last time, with a little 90 mil shiver stick for now. Um, I'll give it a crack with the shiver stick, see how I go. Um, I might switch it up with a couple of plastics. Oh, I've already got herring in the trail now, that's a good start. So I'm just rigging up my spare rod with a plastic. Uh, that's a seven inch paddle tail. The boys at Three Chefs Tackle. I'll put a link down below, but the boys at Three Chefs Tackle hooked me up with a couple of bags of plastic. So this is just like your uh, standard stretchy seven inch paddle tail sort of um, soft plastic. I'm fishing this on a 1.6 TT head. So I'm just gonna alternate between this one and the stick bait. Just see if I can't get any attention on either one. All right. So far, the kings haven't wanted to play. So what I've done, I'm trying to get myself off here. What I've done is I've switched over to the tiny little 75 mil shiver stick. Because there's so many skippy and herring just milling around the back of the boat here. It's just a matter of just changing things up a bit to see what we can do and see if we can't get a fish off some other way. Because so far, the kings are remaining pretty elusive. Yeah. Straight in like that. This will be a skip or something. Or not. No, another kind of rest. See, look at these guys. Still pretty aggressive. Not what we're after, but they're not scared to have a crack. Something's just hit my stick bait. I think it might be a skippy. That's pretty cool. That was like a surface, a surface hit too. There's the skippy. Look at that guy. Let's see if I can grab him without getting a hook in my hand. Still... See? Look at that guy. Pretty aggressive predators, the old skippy. In shallow water, shallow water, I've been two metres of water here over the sand and that was almost on the surface he had a go at that, so shows you. Have a look at this. It's quite some amount of skippy. Oh well, that's a fail. I've been here for probably two hours now, just continually casting, casting, casting. <coughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, I've been here for two hours, just casting stick baits and plastics around. No love. I've got a couple of skippy for a lunch. Um, there's been heaps of activity like herring and skippy and all sorts of rats going on behind the boat here. But yeah, obviously the kings just, I don't know. Oh, they're not, they're not home or they're not feeding. Sometimes I see them in here and you can see them clear as day swimming by, but I haven't even seen them today, so maybe they're just not home. Anyway, I'm gonna pack up and then head back in and get some breakfast. <laughs> right, so this morning this morning didn't exactly go as planned. Um, it was pretty oh don't it was pretty quiet all up. Um, oh by the way, come in here. <laughs> this is Salty. <laughs> this is my new little mate Salty Dog here. Um, unfortunately, I had an old girl, Lucky. Um, she made it to 16 years old, a Kelpie, living on the farm out here. She made it to 16, and I had to put her down a couple of months ago, which was, um, yeah, not a really bright time in my life, I must admit. So, it's been a little while, a couple of months now, and we got little Salty here, joined the family. 
So you'll probably be seeing a bit of him because I can't get rid of him at the moment and he's probably going to cause havoc here taking everything I'm trying to show you. So like I said this morning it didn't really go as according to plan, the Kings just didn't really want to play. Um, I got a couple of skippy I had for lunch, um, I forgot to film it because me and Lee were in a hurry to get out so we just sort of ate and ran and I forgot to film it. But what I thought I'd do, salty, oi, what I thought I'd do, if I can without this puppy causing havoc, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I was going to show you these soft plastics that I got given here. Three Chefs Tackle sent me out a couple of bags of um, these cool soft plastics. They're, they're um, the paddle tail style, which I haven't actually used the paddle tail before. I've always used just like the um, like the, the jerk shed style, and these paddle tails have already posed a few problems. I was casting one around this morning. Um, here it is here. That's on my usual, um, this is a 1 6th, the 1 6 TT head that I would normally use to cast around these, um, a, a plastic of this size. Um, as you guys know, I go for the slower, the slowest sink rate that I can get with the lightest head. But already with the paddle tails, um, the slightly different action of the paddle, I've noticed doesn't work with the light heads. Um, the 1 6, yeah right, I know even creepy Corley wants to get on the act. The one six, the one six head actually sinks the plastic, no worries, but it it doesn't really swim. It kind of spins around. I'm thinking these paddle tails have got a bit more of an aggressive action, and they kind of need a bit more of a heavy head to to sort of bully them around. So um, I've got a range of different size heads here. I've got the one six, the one eights. Um, I've got some some one quarter eight, some one quarter in the eight o's that I've got, which will go with these bigger. Salty, get out of there. I don't want him anywhere near my hooks. I'm sure as hell he'll end up eating one and get one in his mouth. So I've got these giant ones here. I think these are about an eight inch paddle tail, these ones here. So these are gonna take some experimenting. Um, again, I think these paddle tails are meant to be bullied around with a heavier sort of style jig head. I've got, I have got some bigger ones, some big TT. I think that's a one and a half ounce. Something like that is probably more, um, probably more what you're going to use for these sort of these sort of plastics more bottom bouncing I think these paddles the um, the paddle tail style ones probably aren't gonna work floating down the belly trail quite like I have been doing the other ones so I might have to adapt my change my technique a bit and bounce them around the bottom a bit more see how that goes but change is good they might they may work better than my other <laughs> some to your havoc dude they may work better than the um, than the shad ones I've been using um, I'll definitely probably pick up more Jewies if they're bouncing around the bottom, but I'll probably work them side by side um, with some slow sinking ones and some heavier ones bouncing on the bottom in the future. Uh, in the f so what I've got here, I've got a heap of these blue ones. They must be 8 inch. Free Chefs Tackle by the way, check them out guys. They've got a whole range online. They also sent me out some metal jigs here. This one here I'm really keen to chuck down. Um, it's really flat. It looks like it's really going to flutter its way down to the bottom. And these guys here. So I'm hoping, yeah, once this weather clears, the weather, I don't know, it's been bloody awful lately. Typical spring in Perth. But hopefully the weather starts to settle down a bit in the future and we can get out and start experimenting and doing a bit more metal jigging. And also some bottom bouncing um, out wide for some dewies, hopefully as well. I've got a couple of friends with bigger boats who've invited me out to do some bouncing around. So. Hopefully we can do some of that as um, as summer carries on. And then, of course, I'll be getting back into the snapper as usual. But, yeah, the kingfishing thing, yeah, I don't know. I've actually sucked at it lately. This is, I think, my fifth trip I've been out now. Um, I didn't even see one this morning, but I did get a few herrings, so it wasn't a total waste of a day. Beats work, that's for sure. But anyway, what I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to do a bit of a video. I'm going to get a whole heap of different soft plastics that I've got at home. And what I'll do is I'll um, swim them in the pool here. I'll whack them in the pool and we'll um, swim some plastics and I'll get Lee in the water and we'll actually film underwater. They um, experiment on different jig heads and sink rates and sort of give you guys an idea of what I do, um, how, how I get my soft plastics to sort of, I, I don't know, I guess I kind of like them almost neutral, not sinking at all. I like them to really flutter as soft as possible, the um, the shad style ones for snapper in the barely trail. Uh, like I said, it's not going to work with the bigger paddle tiles. They're going to want to sink straight to the bottom and be worked along the bottom probably a bit more aggressively. And I guess that's why they've got the big aggressive um, shaky 
shaky tail in them. Uh, you can see this one here, this is a one quarter head, a one quarter TT head, and if I drop that in the pool, it actually floats. So one quarter head's not even enough to get that to the bottom. And like I said before, I was working this one today and the, the light jig head, just the um, action of the tail actually just makes it spin around. It doesn't um, track straight. It needs a bit more, it needs a little bit more weight to bully it around, I think, to sort of keep the tail on track. I think there's just too much action in these for the lighter jig heads. So they're just really not working. No, this one's got a hook. You can't have this one. So what I'm gonna do in the future is I'll do a bit of experimenting in the pool, like I said. We'll throw a few different plastics around and um, yeah, I'll, probably a good clear way to see how they swim and experiment and get things right and see what works and why, what works how and why and um, yep, yeah, we'll give that a shot in the future. So if you like stuff, stay tuned. Hopefully next time I'm out, I'll actually be catching some fish because let's face it, my last few videos, I've really <laughs> I've really <sucked. laughs> Look at this guy. Honestly. Who wants a kelpie puppy? <laughs> Kelpies. <laughs> Mad as a cut snake. <laughs> anyway, see you in the next video, guys. Yo!